Hey there! Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to have some fun with the ESP8266, Node MCU, and the Max7219 dot matrix. But don't worry, I'll keep it simple and easy to follow. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Wi Fi to change the text on our display. It might sound a bit technical, but I promise to break it down step by step. No need for complicated jargon, we're here to learn and have a good time. So, grab your devices, and let's dive into the world of microcontrollers and Wi Fi magic. By the end of this video, you'll be amazed at what you can do with just a few simple steps. Let's get started. Awesome! Before we dive into the exciting stuff, let's gather our gear. Here's what you'll need for this project. ESP8266 Node MCU Microcontroller This little powerhouse is the brains of our operation. Max7219 Dot Matrix Your visual canvas will make it light up with some cool text. 5 Female to Female DuPont Wires These wires will help us connect everything seamlessly. And the best part? You can snag all these components for less than $10. Now, let's move on to the next step and start bringing our project to life. Initiating our project requires meticulous attention to detail in linking the Max7219 and ESP8266 components. Begin by fastening the GND wire from the Max7219 to the GND pin on the ESP8266, establishing a common ground reference for electrical stability. This grounding connection is fundamental to preventing potential signal noise and ensuring a stable operating environment. Proceed with the VCC wire, responsible for supplying power to the Max7219. Directly connect it to the 3.3V pin on the ESP8266, adhering to voltage compatibility standards. This power allocation is critical to sustaining the operational requirements of the Max7219 ensuring consistent and reliable performance. Next, integrate the CLK clock pin from the MAX7219 with the D5 pin on the ESP8266. This connection establishes the temporal synchronization between the components, facilitating coherent data transfer and processing. Consider it the temporal conductor orchestrating the sequential execution of commands. Simultaneously, Integrate the DIN data input pin from the MAX7219 with the D7 pin on the ESP8266. This interconnection forms the data conduit, enabling seamless communication between the components. It acts as the conduit through which information is transmitted and received. Conclude the wiring protocol by attaching the CS chip select pin from the MAX7219 to the D8 pin on the ESP8266. This pin functions as the command authority, dictating when the MAX7219 should pay attention to incoming data. Effectively, it serves as the gatekeeper, regulating access to the MAX7219's functionalities. We'll walk through the setup for this exciting ESP8266 project. To get started, you'll find the code in the video description, along with a link to the necessary libraries. Simply download and install them in your Arduino IDE. If you encounter issues uploading the code, it's worth noting that you might need the CH34X USB driver. Be sure to check the video description for a link to download and install it. Now, let's talk about customizing the web page. The style of the page located at the IP address can be tailored using the HTML code embedded in the Arduino sketch. Feel free to experiment and modify the appearance to suit your preferences. Don't forget to enter your Wi-Fi credentials, SSID, and password in the code. Once uploaded to the ESP8266, it will display its assigned IP address on the dot matrix, confirming a successful connection. So, follow along, install the libraries, troubleshoot if needed, customize the web page, and witness your ESP8266 project come to life. Enjoy the journey! Thank you for watching my video, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave in the comment section and I will reply. Please like and subscribe.